Hi, everybody. Uh, is Are you there? Uh, are we the only one? This is a live uh, as promised. Uh, J Hi, Ian. Hi, James. Uh, some people are coming. Uh, it seems like, well, we were on time this time. And so you probably were not used to us being on time. Uh, this is Leo and Erwan. Uh, hi, friends. Hi, James. Um, I'm not seeing that many people. I think we're 10 or, yes, numbers are raising now. Uh, well, we promised that we would do it. And today is the day. So if you're not that numerous, that many people to watch, uh, maybe you will see that uh, as a replay. I just want to make sure that you can all hear me. Uh, I can't see any of your. Oh, OK, I can. I couldn't see any of your uh, of your comments. Uh, I want to make sure you can hear me. Franz, can you hear me? Hi, Nick. Uh, OK, you can hear me. Thank you, Nick. Uh, I was I was wondering. OK, excellent. Uh, that's great. Well, just 16 people. Come on, that's not many. Uh, where, where where is everybody? Maybe well, we we said initially that we would have the live tomorrow on uh, Thursday, but uh, we we were ready today and we said well, as we posted uh, the uh, uh, the update, we say well, we might as well do it as we usually do. That means just after we uh, we published the uh, the update. Ah. Uh, Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. <laughs> well, we are in the small. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, numbers are raising now 24. Yes, we are on time, friends. That's right. Hi, Umberto. <laughs> Umberto. Yes, Nick, I hope some many people will join soon because it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be one of the most exciting lives uh, that we've done for a very, very long time because we are going to show you. Uh, a naval scenario, so you will see uh, you will see this this kind of material. You will see uh, well. We even have the new dice. You see the final ones. The final ones that you'll have in the box. <laughs> Hi, Misha. Hi, Joe. Hi, Eric. Oh, look, this. It's probably Maurice or uh, Jeremy. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> oh, 33 people. Yes. It's slowly raising. That's great. That's great. Yes, pretty dice. Look, look at that. You want you maybe want to see them. I hope you can see them on camera, right? So this are the dice that we'll have in the box. They're really, really cool. They are yes, they have a good weight. They're very uh yeah, it's very pleasant to have them in your hand, and we we even have the the numbers the numbered dice, so you can you can see what they look they look like. Let's see. Should we wait for three hundred? Oh, I don't think we are going to wait for three hundred. It's going to take a long time tonight. Uh, <laughs> but I hope uh, the replay will work, and so people can uh, can see can see this uh, dramatic scenario. Uh, what else can we show you? Well, you can see on the maps. Uh, well, I must first warn you, this is a prototype. Uh, uh, the area sees will, well, the area, uh, the sea area will not look like that, right? The, uh, the board. Uh, this is a prototype, nor will uh, these wrecks and the island, and it won't be the, it's not the final art, but it's still enough for you to, to have a pretty good idea of how this all works. So we didn't have the final material, but we figured that we could show you a real game, a real naval scenario. We chose, we didn't choose the naval battle. A naval battle, we, we would have uh, ships on each side and we, it's, it would be the same kind of game as a skirmish one, but with, uh, with battles, with, with, with ships. Uh, we decided to provide you with uh, a scenario from the uh, Poseidon campaign. Uh, in the Poseidon campaign, you have um, two, um, eight scenarios, and this is the fifth scenario. 
Uh, hi, Ben. <laughs> ben is here. Uh, hi, Evie. <laughs> uh, swimming Hydra. Oh, now that's scary. Yes. Well, Hydra is uh, an aquatic monster. Uh, so it, per it swims perfectly and it's actually much, it's deadlier in the water than uh, on ground. It, it uh, moves two instead of one. Uh, it's devastating. <laughs> That's really scary. So, what are the creatures we have in this board? Well, we um, well, uh, everyone is going to play the the monsters. So he'll have a Hydra. He'll have uh, Charitus and Polyphemus, the the Cyclops, the and the Sirens, the deadly uh, Sirens. Oh, you're welcome, uh, Florian. Uh, I'm glad that you liked uh, the uh, the setups uh, maps that we provided you with in the update. Yes, she has fins in her back instead of legs. Interesting. Absolutely, yeah. yes. She's a well, Hydra. It's a, a sea monster. Hydra in um, in Greek means water, so it's a it's a water monster. It's a, can we see the can you see the siren models on camera, please? Yes, I want you want to show them. The sirens. Please get on with it. <laughs> well, we were waiting a little bit until the numbers uh, uh, would rise, and now we are 67, 68. Uh, so we are, we are, yes, it's much better. <laughs> we started, we were just one, just us. <laughs> and now you guys are coming. And well, for those who are following, you are not going to regret it. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's do that, uh, and we want to show you that it's we are on real conditions. So everything you will see everything. For instance, we haven't uh, well, we we have tokens that we need to place on the maps. We haven't done it yet because we want you to see that it's all done for real. Uh, same with the cars. We will shuffle them again uh, and you will see what the scenario is about. Uh, Air One is playing uh, the, is on the Poseidon side, and I'm on the Athena side, okay? Hi, Marcin. Oh, yes, I'm in a good place. Thank you. And especially more and more good people are coming, and the, the place is becoming better and better. So, yes, we're in a good place, and you're now 73. It's raising. Uh, oh. Thank you, Misha. He says the sirens looks impressive. <laughs> okay, let let me tell you. Uh, oh, sorry, Mike Foy. Yes, you wanted a, a naval battle, Mike. I remember. And now you have it, and it's great that you you joined us. <laughs> hi, Catherine. Oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> more and more people. That's great. Okay, let me read you the the little. Uh, script well the the story for this scenario as you as i told you it's scenario number five so it's just in the middle of the campaign so that means you won't know why uh some of the the people are here but if you do the campaign from the beginning uh the story uh it, it it's a story uh from one scenario it gives you some uh information and then depending on what happened on one scenario you have some uh, uh, new things to do. So if you do the campaign, you will understand uh, the motivations and the reasons for these people to be here uh, in this scenario. Uh, so here's the, set, the setup. Odysseus has heard news of a great battle in a storm and rushes to the aid of Achilles. But all he can find is a sea of wreckage. And you can see the wreckage uh, here, right? And you can see an island here. This is Charybdis. Yes, the island is just here. Uh, yeah. You can see the wreck wreckage and Charybdis and Polyphemus and the sirens. So Odysseus knows that there is a message for him somewhere uh, among the ship's graveyard, though that is not all. Lurking in the depth, waiting to attack, are many deadly monsters. How long can these men survive their search? Okay, so now we're going to play for that. So 
what is uh well the the setup is done we've done just the setup um uh, the tokens you see here, well, in the final game, they will be uh, chess tokens, but th these tokens are numbered one to five. You can see, right? So this is a four, this is a two, okay? Um, and, so on. and so on. So, in order for me, because I'm playing uh, Odysseus and his team, so I have Leonidas, of course, Odysseus, uh, Achilles, uh, Atalanta, uh, the Amazons, and the hoplite, Hoplites. Uh, in order for me to win, I need to find the message that uh, that was left for me, and I need to arrive with my boats and leave this map with this message. Erwan just uh, shuffled the the five uh, the five uh, chests, and now we need to know where is the good chest. As you know, they're numbered from one to five. We are going to roll one dice, and the result will be where uh, where the good chest is. So Poseidon has to uh, to roll the dice. And one, yes. Here we go. Oh, number, number one. one. Okay. So. We My purpose now is to find the, the number one chest, bring it with me and escape and leave this map with, uh, with, the, with the chest. And it's my purpose too. And it's your purpose too. So, if the first of us who can do that wins the game. All right, so how do you carry a chest? It's exactly like carrying an omphalos. <laughs> The island looks like a snack for Charybdis. Uh, yes, actually it is. Uh, Charybdis can eat all the wrecks and uh, you will see it's devastating. It's going to be very painful for me. Uh, okay, now, now what? Uh, because I'm with Athena, I have a little help from uh, the goddess of wisdom. So I'm going, I have the right now to look secretly at one of uh, the chest tokens to see the number. So I'm going to do that. Uh, Erwan, don't look at the camera. I'm going to show you guys the one I pick and we'll see. I'm going to choose this one, okay? And I, I will look at it and I will show you guys, okay? And I will put it back. Just don't write what you saw, okay? Um, now, after I've done that, I can place uh, my ships anywhere I want around the map, all around the map. And you will see, uh, I will explain how uh, things work. I will put one boat here, and I will put one boat, a trireme. I will put one here. And now I need to put three units in each one. So let me explain just real fast how uh, the, the ships work. A uh, each ship can contain, well, this one can contain, uh, is an area with uh, of three capacity, right? So three units can fit in a, a ship. Uh, it has, each ship can have an equipment. Those two ships have the archer equipment. The archer equipment, uh, when you have an equipment, it's you can use one of your simple action to activate this equipment. So instead of doing an attack, I can use the archer attack. I will, I will explain to you when we, we get there. Uh, ships have uh, an attack uh, rating, they have a defense rating, and uh, they have a vitality. Uh, the, the ships have a vitality of seven, they have a defense of seven, and uh, as I told you, their capacity is three. Are you still there? Are you still here? Can you still hear us? I can't see any comments at all. Okay, yes, you are. Yes, excellent. <laughs> listening to you. You're listening. That's great. Uh, 
and you know what? We're coming to 100 viewers. That's great. Um, now I need to put three units in each of my ship the way I want. And because uh, I've seen one of the, uh, the chests, I can put that as I want. Uh, OK. I'm going to have Odysseus here. I would say Atalanta here, because I want some archers in each. Uh, I will put Heracles here, Leonidas here. Um, I will put the hoplites here. And I'm going to put the Amazons here. All right. So let me remind you the victory conditions. The first army to find the message and leave the board with it wins the game. Uh, sea chests, the one we are going to look for, cannot be damaged and will float if the wreck they are on is destroyed. The wrecks here uh, have uh, vitality. Well, it, 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 it'll be in the rules, right? I have the rules with me. I can show you it. I can show them to you. Uh, it's six defense and two vitality. Uh, what are the special rules for this uh, for this scenario? Well, the amphibious rule is used, which means uh, amphibious creatures like the ones uh, Erwan has can move one extra uh, area per movement. Uh, uh, if I begin and end my movement in water. In water, absolutely. Uh, it also means that uh, you... Uh, amphibious. Uh, it also means that you're not affected by uh, the water. Uh, effects. Yes, effects. Uh, what are the water effects? Well, when uh, a unit, let's say Atalanta, is in the water, she can only move one. She can uh, claim an omphalos and she can move out of the water. She cannot attack, she cannot use her powers, and she cannot use. Uh, her talents either, okay? That's the, the rules for water. Uh, what are the other special rules for this scenario? Well, uh, Poseidon, well, his units, actually the units he has are the sirens. Uh, they can be recalled. If they are recalled, they, they come back the island. on the island, right? They come back on the island only. Uh, then there is a special rule for Athena, which is the oracle. Uh, and at the end of my turn, I can discard an out of war card to look at one of the sea chest uh, tokens. So that's at the end of my turn, and that's very, very interesting, right? Uh, I have this little advantage over Poseidon, who doesn't know where uh, the the message. Uh, is let me see your comments. Mm -hmm. Look like the bots cover two areas. Prototypes. It's yes, it will be the case. The, the case. Bo boats cover two areas. Absolutely. And once again, this is not the final. Uh, final map. The final map. This is just a prototype we are playing with. Uh, uh, final, working. Zones will be the same, but the design is not. Different. Yes, uh, for the uh, the the sea area the, uh, map that we have, it was done by uh, Chlorenko, and it will look very very realistic. This is just something we use to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a preset for units. You have uh, six units for the Atalanta side. Yeah. Preset and uh, yes, and we, we didn't draft anything because we're playing a scenario yeah. with uh, determined units. And then there's one final special rule for this scenario 
it's wreck creation. As you know, we are in a graveyard of uh, ships uh, because of the former scenarios and what happened. Um, so at the end of my turn, as I'm the Athena uh, player, I can discard an, an odd war card to create up to two rakes, wrecks and place each of them in an empty area. What, uh, what, is, what are wrecks? What can you do on wrecks? These wrecks, well, these are land uh, areas. So they, they can only contain one uh, unit. But that means when you are on land, you can use your powers, you can attack, you can do many things that you can't do in the water. And uh, because there are many wrecks in this in this area, uh, and Athena can help uh, the the unit here. Uh, well, she can create and help uh, the humans with wrecks. So I can create up to two wrecks anywhere I want, and it might be useful in this scenario. And uh, this ability is limited to the number of wreck markers in the box. So what we did, we didn't have, we, we only had these wreck markers here. And L1 just, uh, we are going to use this, uh, these markers for, uh, as wreck markers. And uh, we won't be able to produce more than that. Okay, so it costs me, uh, it's at the end of my turn, and it costs me one auto war card. So now, uh, for the rest, the, the cards that we have uh, are simply the activation cards of the units we have, plus the out of war cards that uh, were given by uh, our heroes, uh, not gods, so just our heroes. Same for L1. He probably doesn't have many out of war cards. Just three. Just three, yeah. the three, and I will have three out of war cards, plus the ones I have in my deck. So. Uh, Erwan, please shuffle my deck. I'm going to shuffle your deck. So we, we really play in good conditions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, same game as normal. I take my three out of war card and I draw three cards. Okay. I'm the lead player, so I'm going to start this game. So, where are the sales markers? Oh, can I take these ones? Okay. Yep. One, one and two, three. Okay. Where would the color? All right. So, here's a special rule for uh, the naval battles. When you have ships at the beginning of your turn, you must use a sail marker. Well, uh, in the final game, it will look like a sail, and put it on on one ship. And this ship automatically moves and has to move one uh, one area. You, you, you have to do that at the beginning of each of your turn. And once all of your ships have a sail marker and it's the beginning of your turn, you take those markers off and then you can choose and put one sail marker to a, a new one, uh, another ship and move one, right? So at this moment, I must put a, a sail marker on my ship. I, would, I will put it here. I hope you can see me. Uh, and now I can move it by one. I will move here. Now, and after that, my turn is simply exactly like uh, a normal turn for a uh, Mythic Battles game. So I will draw one card. And now I can activate the units I have in any of my ships. So I can do anything I, I could do normally. Uh, there are a few rules when you're in a boat. For instance, you can attack. Well, your range becomes uh, one at the, at the minimum. So people who have range zero can attack in uh, adjacent areas because they have a minimum range of one. Also, uh, you automatically have the 
a gem collector. Uh, when you're in a boat, you have the gem collector um, talent, right? Which means because the sea chests are considered uh, like omphalos, I can collect with uh, a simple action. I can collect uh, the the sea chests here if I want it. Uh, once you're when you're in the boat, you have some new simple actions that you can use. Uh, what are these simple actions? Well, uh, you can row. Row is a simple action. So a unit that rows will uh, allow the, the boat to move one area. It's a simple action. You can also use uh, the equipment with one of your extra uh, simple action. Well, one of your simple actions. Uh, in that case, that means using the archers that are in the boat. The archers can when you use the archer uh, equipment you do two attacks with three range and uh, four dice uh, and i think that's uh, that's as simple as that let's uh let me start then um did you pick one card uh, yes i did okay what i'm going to do i will i'm going to play Atalanta, right? On her first action, Atalanta is going to row. So I'm rowing and I move here. And on my second action, I'm going to uh, collect this uh, sea chest. So I'm going to collect it going to look at it and I'm going to show it to, to the camera, right? Yep. I don't look at it. Okay, that was my first action. As my second action, I'm going to use, well, if I want to play second action, I have to play an out of war card, of course. And then I'm going to play No, I'm going to play. Mm. Sorry, I'm I'm using my out of war card to go pick for one card in my deck. I will show you which one I'm using. I will go get this guy. I reshuffle my my deck, and now I play. A second out of war card. The first one was to go get Odysseus. Second out of war card to play a second unit. I'm going to play Odysseus. As his first action, he's going to collect this here. I'm going to show you what it is. And as a second action, it's either I do, I use Odysseus uh, ranged attack. I could attack the Cyclops or I could attack Hydra. So I have, I could do an attack of five or I could use the, uh, the archers and do two attacks, but just four dice. So it's either one attack, five dice or two attacks, four dice with the archers. I think I'm going to do the use the archers. Okay. Uh, I will attack Polyphemus. What is his defense? Defense eight. Oh. It's solid. And what is Hydra's defense? Hydra is seven. I will still try and hit uh, Polyphemus. Oh, <laughs> magic! <laughs> terrible, terrible a uh, roll. <laughs> okay, well, the archers were not very good at uh, shooting, uh, but I have a second attack. Let me try. Hope I will do a better. That's a little better. Three, four, five. 
I re-roll my five and I have a plus one bonus. Five, six, seven, eight, could even go to nine. So you take one wound. On uh, Polyphemus. On Polyphemus. And uh, my turn is over. Okay. Let's play. You draw a card. Yep. I drew a card. Um, mm -hmm. Well, uh, you're bluffing me on one of the two tokens, obviously. Uh, so, uh, Florian, you're saying that uh, swords are easy to... You guys want us to use just numbers instead of swords? Because we also have, like, these dice. Can you read uh, uh, these dice better? Maybe with the light, swords are difficult. Okay. Well, we're just light. going to use numbers instead of swords. Yeah. We wanted to show you uh, the swords once, you say, uh, the, the final dice. It'll be easier in that case. Okay. So, uh, first activation, Polyphemus. I'll go, um, mm -mm. my movement is one, but I'm uh, amphibious, so I can move two. So I'll move there, and I'll attack uh, your ship. Oh, okay. So that's just a rule that we can tell. When you attack a ship, you can either choose to attack the ship itself, or you can you can use you can attack uh, the units that are in the ship. It's just a decision he has to make before he rolls his dice. Uh, who is carrying the the token? Odysseus is. Odysseus. Mm. Interesting. I'll uh, I'll attack directly Odysseus. And uh, guys, I've made a, a little mistake in here. Uh, I don't have any. In, in this ship, I don't have uh, any guards, <laughs> so I can't protect. I cannot even protect uh, Odysseus. The, the fact is that Polyphemus automatically uh, makes effect of mighty throw when he attacks. Oh, so he's going to toss me in the, in the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's an eight. Oh yes, uh, Floria is, ask, is asking. Can you guard an attack on the boat? Yes, you can. So, there is two fives, two loss, two fours, that begins two fives with a two and a one. It's four fives. Odysseus is a uh, different six. I just need the ones. So, it's three ones. Ooh, ouch, that hurts. So, Odysseus has lost three. And he'll come uh, there. So I I dropped uh, the chest and I'm in the water now, a little useless. You do. Next. Uh... Oh, okay. He was asking if we can um, if we can use guard to protect uh, the ship. No. no, 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 no. If he decided to, to attack the boat, <laughs> he attacks the boat. I can't. I just can't guard uh, this attack. The boat. So uh, next thing I do is. Playing the second unit, Hydra. I'll move my Hydra there, and I'll uh, and I'll attack uh, the boat directly. So it's. Uh, Let me think of it. I'll attack the boat. It's maybe a mistake from my side because I think the chest is this one, but it's maybe this one. So let's see. Okay, a Hydra. I, I can see a big sea monsters attacking my boat. So it's going five, to be. It's a loss. It's three fours. Okay, uh, just one little thing. You can't uh, throw a boat. Yeah. <laughs> two twos uh, helps two fours to begins to became two fives. 
So there is three fives and one plus one that I keep. Uh, boats are defense seven, so I need to just twos. And there is three ones on the boats. So okay. In the final game, you will have tokens that to represent yeah. the the ones on the boats. on the boats. But here we just use these dice. So this boat has a vitality of seven, and I've already taken three hits yeah. from the uh, the hydra. So I only have four vitality left. Okay, that's it, and that's it for me. Okay. Oh, what what is the problem? Uh, can can all can everybody see uh, what's happening here? Are you still there? Can you see? Is there a technical problem? No. Okay, you can. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, now it's my turn. Well, I realize at the end of my turn I didn't use uh, my option of seeing uh, the. Uh, uh, the the chest because maybe you know where it is <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> now let me draw one card and um, I'm going to I'm going to play an auto war card to draw two cards. Okay. Okay. Do Rex are Rex obstacles or not for line of sight? They are. They are? Yeah. You okay. Yeah. They block yeah. their obstacles. They are uh, uh, there are 3D elements like uh, other uh, Okay, okay. First of all, because it's the beginning of my turn, I need to put uh, a, sh a sail token on my ship. So this one can move for three up to one. I'm going to move here. Uh, and then I'm going to activate Atalanta again. Atalanta is going to drop for free this uh, sea chest and she's going to as her first actions she's going to collect one of these two she's going to collect this one okay so I one don't don't look oh yeah That was her first action. Second action. Second action. Uh, oh, I don't have anything at range. I can't. So I can't see. Uh, Oh yes, maybe maybe not. Okay, it's from the Go center through. of the area, right? Go through this one. So I can't. Can I attack uh, the uh, no, no, the sirens? No. 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 All right. Behind. Okay, uh, I can't attack the sirens. So I there's no attack that I can do. So I'm going to use my second uh, my second action to row. I'm going to row here.
And then, uh, then I'm going to use one out of war card to go get one card. This card. And as my second action, well, if I want to do a second action, I need to play another auto war card. I'm going to play uh, Leonidas. His first action will be to collect this sea chest. Let me show that to you. So. He has collected it. And as my second action, um, so I, I still can't see, uh, no, because maybe from the middle to the middle, uh, it goes through this yeah. and from yeah. here to here also. Yeah. Uh, I, I still can't see the sirens. They are hidden behind this wreck, but I can see uh, Polyphemus. Uh, so I'm going to use I'm going to use the archers to attack Polyphemus. Hope I will do better than last time. So two attacks, four. First attack. This has eight still. Still has eight. Oh, that's much better. Five. Two fives, and this will become a one, a plus one. Yep. There is one. Just one. That was the first act attack. Then now let me attack again. Uh, what's his defense? Still eight to eight. Five, six, seven, eight, one. One attack. Automatic. Yes. Okay. All right. So I think I'm done. Um, didn't use the oracle. But I attracted you there, so yeah. now it's your turn. Well, As you can see, there's bluff in this scenario. Uh, <laughs> uh, because I didn't pick, didn't use my Oracle special rule, uh, and one thought that, uh, you know, the chest was here. And maybe he, maybe, maybe it is. Maybe. I'll use one out of war card to search for one card and put it in my hand. Well, uh, I'll play carry this. The second power of carry this is Grun's well. Groundswell. Groundswell. It allows me to move two areas, uh, ignoring all uh, movement restrictions. And um, every unit and uh, stuff in the area it stops is moved around or destroyed if it's uh, uh, if it's uh, terrain pieces. Uh, so I'm there. I'll move directly here and so I'll you destroy, destroy the two the wreck just this one and uh all long units move this way suffer a five dice attack but it's not the case so uh it's just so you move two but is it on your way do you destroy things no, no, on your no, way no, no. no you just reappear somewhere Where else you okay out. When you pop out, you destroy yeah. Yeah. one piece of terrain, yeah. and if there were people on it, they would yeah. suffer an attack. Uh, do people, uh, well, do units around or in adjacent areas suffer, suffer an attack or not? No, 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 no. Just uh, units moved this way. If I pop out and I move a unit, a ground unit, this way, it takes. It takes a uh, five dice. Florian, you're right. Uh, with Leonidas, I forgot to use my natural born leader. Uh, let me do it. Well, that's the good thing for 
<laughs> I could go fetch. Uh, you're, could... you're too kind with him. <laughs> He's a master player. He, <laughs> well, I fetched the hoplites because they are in. They are with me. Thank you, Floyd. That's very nice. <laughs> Oh, somebody says uh, we can see that the map uh, are a bit too small for the size of the minis. Not really, not really. Well, uh, here we had to do small areas uh, for the boots to be to fit in two of them, right? And then I'll uh, attack with uh, Caribdis. And Caribdis is. Oh, he said it's nice of everyone letting you do it. I wouldn't be so lenient. So. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's my boss. <laughs> so you can see my face right now, but. Um, <laughs> well. <laughs> well, uh, Caribdis has a powerful attack of 10 dice. Oh, yeah. So you you used your special attack? It's not an attack. It's just a power that allows me to move. And after that, I do a normal attack. <laughs> and a normal, ten, ten dice. dice <laughs> Where, who are, who do you attack? <laughs> this boat. This do, boat you, do you attack the boat or directly the boat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be carrying three chests. <laughs> well. Oh my god. Okay. One, well. two, three, three fives. One four that begins a five with this one. Okay. And then two threes. Uh one more five. And uh two plus ones. Okay. Or after. These fives. I need uh two seven. So two, and it's an you know, all-in five damages. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this boat only has two vitality left. So the attack that uh, Charybdis did on the boat was monstrous. Was terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, and, uh, that's it for him. Mm. No, I, I'm hesitating. I can't, I can't, I can't stop there. I can't. Use an auto war card to and... play Polyphemus. Let's move it two zones and attack directly the boat. Two. What's attack your... of seven. <sighs> there is two fives plus two. Bonuses of two, so it's two sevens. The boat, the boat is destroyed. destroyed. Okay, when a boat is destroyed, you replace the boat with a wreck. Uh, it All probably right. be, will be uh, underneath it, it, but it, 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 will, it will. Okay, so so all the units are. Don't forget who have what. He has to so. Say. He has one. But units are moved when the boat is destroyed, and I choose where. You remember? You remember that? Huh? Yes. And w uh, which one was the one of Atalanta? Uh, this uh, the, uh, no, this one. This, this one. one? Okay. Yes. So this one is on the wreckage. Okay. No more life points. Leonidas will come here. So I'm on a, on a wreck, so that means that I'm not in the water, which is good. And uh, Atalanta will go uh, in the water, just next to me, come here. Okay, and they will go um, there. Okay, well, it certainly is a problem. Uh, 
<laughs> yes, we could just sh uh, flip the sheep. Uh, th that's what will happen in the in the final game. Okay. Yes, yes. We'll we'll have the uh, the wreck on the other side of the of the cardboard. Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, are you finished? I'm done. Okay. So now it's my turn. Well, well, well. I'm going to draw one card. I'm going to use one out of war card to go get one card in my deck. And it'll be this guy. So uh, I'm playing as my first activation. I'm playing uh, Leonidas. He's going to move from one wreck to another because they are adjacent. It's simply moving from one uh, land or solid place to another one. So I'm going to move from here to here with what I'm carrying. Then I could do, well, this is my first simple action. Then I could attack or I could claim, but there's nothing I can attack here. And I couldn't attack uh, Charybdis and then move because you can't move mm -hmm. and attack next. I just think to something, uh, chests are considered like Amphalos. Yes. So uh, when you have been projected at the end of the attack, you just put the, just let the chest there. Oh, and can you can you walk here? You can. Okay. So that's, that means that's uh, Rex like these ones. Okay. But the big one. Okay. So the, just, that means just are... well remember which one is one. But it's yes. your problem. I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in that case, that means uh, the the chests have remained on the Rex, right? So. Uh, I will move here and claim this Omphalos. This chest. This chest. Yeah. Or I could move here and attack and not claim it. Yes, I will do that. I think it's better. Uh, I move here and then I attack uh, Polyphemus. Okay, Polyphemus is defense 8. Okay, my attack is six. Both must be free move every turn or only once? Uh, they have one free move every turn, but if when you put um, a sail marker on them, it's still eight. No, yeah, it's yeah. still eight. Five, two fives, this one, the plus one. I don't have projection. No, you don't. Just one. Just one. Okay. And because I'm Leonidas, I can go fetch yeah. one of their cards and then I can move them. Yeah, yeah. And they can probably move and attack. I add it to my card. I just they're going to move here. So they would if they had to to move from in the water, 
uh, they could only move one, but because this is considered land, they can move here and then attack. Oh no, they can't move here because this is a only there's only one yeah, right like so they can't wreck. come it's it's like a wreck so there's only one uh, unit that can stand here but they can move in here yeah they can they won't have the bonus from uh leonidas oh yes because of bone leader they will they will yeah. um okay so they have an attack of three plus one four and plus one because of Leonidas. That's fine. They are going to attack Polyphemus. What is his defense? I suggest that you create some wrecks at the end of your turn. Yes, I was thinking of that, Florian, and I thank you for your pieces of advice. <laughs> That's very, very well thought. And I have kept one out of war card just for that. Okay, so what is your defense? Defense for Polyphemus is seven. Oh! Oh! oh. Five, four fives for the hoplite. <laughs> and it's two, two. The mages. Two damages. Oh, how many? Just four hit points left. Not sure it would be very useful to move the boat. Can it move on top of units in water? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, but the units will move automatically. Yes, the, move, the, the unit will have to move if, if we do that. Um, okay, at the end of my turn, Florian, I play one out of war card, and I'm going to create two wrecks. Going to create one here. And... Do I, if I want to leave with it, do I need to create one here? If I want to leave? No, 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 no. If you run, you can do one, one two. two, and then I'm... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So the second one I'm going to create... So this will be a... A wreck. A wreck. Well, I'll, I have uh, other tokens. Uh, For wrecks? Not Rex, but you can use it as Rex on the other side. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Proto still prototype. Huh? Okay, Sorry, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, so. I announce if I pick the right card, I win. I win. Really? Yeah, I do. I play Polyphemus. Polyphemus has the talent Gem Collector. So he can grab the chest just where he is. And I think maybe it's this one. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> number one. Oh, I'm the number one. And after that, I'm a marine creature, so I just do a classic movement of one and two. two. And you leave. And I have it. You know, it was a mistake. I didn't see that coming. I should have with Leonidas. He should have uh, grabbed, uh, claimed uh, yeah, the chest yeah, to, secure and then, it. to secure it. Yeah. And that was... Uh, you know, a mistake that I did. It was really, really tense. Huh? Because <laughs> if I don't have this card... I can win card, on next turn. On next turn, it was for you. <laughs> well, no, not next turn, because I had to claim it, and I could only move one. Yeah, but it was... But then I was very, very close. The, well, well, you see, this was very, very short, very simple, very easy. Uh, it's just... Uh, yes, it's... Uh, it's a scenario that I really would like to play again to have my revenge. And you can see that it doesn't take long. It's only 10 o'clock. 
uh, 11 o'clock, so it's been one hour since we started this uh, this live, and uh, we've had we've talked and we had some explanations. So uh, it's just gives to give you an idea. What we wanted to show you is uh, it's a fun um, it's a fun setting. It's uh, it's uh, a different feeling, and I can tell you that it doesn't feel the same. You can feel that this the the water, the environment. You can't do anything. Uh, uh, exactly that uh, the way you you would uh, and this is just one scenario out of eight and this is a very simple one sometimes you can also move with your boat you can uh, you could play on two different maps uh, you can go on big islands and then maps you you have sometimes you fight with your with your ships it's it's a very different feeling <coughs> uh, so do you have any comments any questions let me let me see the questions and answers <coughs> let me show this to the audience can you see can you see the question no it doesn't show it doesn't appear <coughs> oh merci okay well i'm trying to uh, i'm i'm looking at the question and answers it doesn't appear on on the screen let me let me see q and a okay well okay go to q and a yeah. so the first question is which sister of medusa did you choose for the gorgon uh, what's her name <coughs> um, what's her name good question uh it finishes with an o uh can we get that one i'm looking at it. wait i'm going to uh, we're going to answer you very soon Oh, and then Stephen says, I'm a late backer on Fluent. Stino. Oh, Stino. That's Stino. That's Stino, the, 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 the Gorgon. <laughs> uh, I'm a late backer on Fluent, and as such, Kickstarter doesn't recognize me as a backer. This means I can't write in the comments section. Is there a way to change this? Oh. Um, unfortunately, I think you can't because simply. Uh, you're not regist registered as a backer uh, on Kickstarter, uh, but I can't confirm confirm that at hundred percent. So I um, I suggest should suggest you to contact them directly, uh, Kickstarter. If Nick and is here, maybe he can answer. Nick, is there a way uh, people who are not uh, backers can? But let backers. But you know who are still customers can can write comments uh here uh in the kickstarter uh receive updates yes to receive updates and such right uh if nick you're still there that would be very nice to answer so you you tell us okay uh are you still there guy i can't see any of your comments can you still hear hear us or are we frozen Hello. Anybody here? Salmo. Sam. Hello, can you hear us? On peut se qu'on revienne. Si on déconnecte, on peut revenir. Ouais. 